Hi, everybody. Well, I'm up in the studio, which is an art room slash music room studio. So there's not a lot of colorful things in the background and lights and things like that. But I wanted to get this video done this weekend, and so I needed some privacy. Otherwise, I would be downstairs. Couple things that I wanted to show you. I have been watching reviews on the Nivea cream. Now, Nivea has been around for a long, long time. But what I didn't know was that there is a Nivea that is made in the United States and a Nivea that is made in Germany. They are both different. Several years ago, I want to say about four years ago, I just found this in the back of my vanity in the bathroom. The Nivea Soft Moisturizing Cream. Now, I purchased this to use on my face. <laughs> and I couldn't do it. It was just too greasy. So, the reviews that I've been watching on Nivea said that if the Nivea in, that you purchase the Nivea in America, you're going to have a totally different experience if you get your Nivea from Germany. So, I, one of my clients is from Austria, and then her family moved to Holland after the war. And she was telling me that when she was growing up in Europe, all the women wore Nivea on their skin everywhere. They wore it on their arms, their legs, their decollete, and their face. And when I told her that there was a difference, that I'd been watching videos, she said, absolutely, there is a difference. The one from Germany is the original. And it's very good. The American made is not as good. So I decided to purchase a Nivea from Germany. On the soft Nivea, it says made in Mexico. Let's see if I can get this to focus for you. Uh, it doesn't look like it's focusing. There we go. Made in Mexico, distributed by Wilton, Connecticut. Oh, distributed by Beersdorf, Inc., Wilton, Connecticut. That's in the United States. If you look at this tin, it says Beersdorf, Hamburg, Germany. A registered trademark of Beersdorf, AG Germany. And I got this on Amazon. Now, I want to show you that, first of all, the tin, the American made tin, you have to pry the cover off. Look at this. It just comes right off beautifully. And the smell is different. And then there's this beautiful cover which is like a foil that says Nivea on it. And this is the cream from Germany. And this is the cream, the soft Nivea, from the United States. Now, I've used a lot of this because back when I got it, I said, well, I can't use it on my face. I'm going to put it on my body. The thing is, is that it's very greasy and sticky which I don't like. So what I would do is while my body was wet, I would rub this in with the water and then I would pat myself dry, but still very sticky. I'd like to show you the consistency as well. This consistency is very similar to the American Nivea in the tin. And I'm going to put it on my arm here. And you can see how greasy it is. 
Can you see how greasy it is? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take from the German Nivea, and I mean, it is, if you look at it, it's really dense and very tacky, okay? And I'm going to put that up here. And I'm just going to let those that let this sink in a little bit. You can tell. You can I don't know if you can tell. See how greasy this is? My finger is still slipping on it. But on this one, it's not as slippery. So my experience with this has been that the German Nivea completely sinks in the skin. So what I've been doing is my regular daily moisturizing routine during the day. And at night, I've been putting this on my freshly clean skin. And it takes about, depending on how much you put on, it takes about an hour for it to sink totally into your skin. And it's not sticky. Okay? And then I go to bed. And I've had no breakouts I've thoroughly enjoyed it, and that's because I think this is going to be my new go-to night cream. I think I'm going to be giving up my other night cream and using my SPF day cream and my cleansers that I use and my toner that I use with my regular skin care. So I got some things in the mail besides this this week. I got been wanting this. I think I mentioned the, this in my last video, but I made a boo-boo. I've been wanting the Shuamara Eyelash Curler. And I told you guys it was like $40, $41. Well, that's because you get two. So I will be gifting one of these. I think they're around $21 for a single. I wasn't paying attention. It was late at night and I just went and did it. So I am going to be gifting this one. But I tried this this morning uh, just to see how it felt. And it is a an eyelash curler like no other. It doesn't pinch my eyelid. It's very gentle to use. Um... I only, tr I didn't put anything on my eyelashes. I just wanted to see if I could curl my eyelashes with the new Shumera eyelash curler. So the other items that I got that I was so excited to, to get, and we're going to try out just the foundation, the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. I also got a blush in Orgasm X, and I also got a bronzer in Laguna, and both of these are minis, but I love NARS. My experience with this particular company has been very positive. They had a 20% off site-wide sale, so I ended up getting the um, foundation for like $36, and I got the blush and the bronzer each for about $13, $14, plus free shipping. So I thought that was a deal. I'm going to put on the NARS Reflecting Foundation because I want to see what it looks like and what it feels like. Santa Fe Medium 2. But you're really supposed to shake this. It's very liquidy. So I was just outside mowing the lawn. <laughs> That's why I'm all poofed up like this. I'm going to take my glasses off. And I cannot see you guys with my glasses off. I don't wear contacts. I did bring in my magnifying mirror. So I'm going to take my foundation brush. I did bring up my sponge it is a little damp. <clears throat> and I'm going to put some of the foundation on my hand. 
it is very fluid. You can see it's starting to drip down. I'm not used to that. I'm used to more firm foundation. And I'll just have to do this when I go on my forehead. Okay, so I'm dipping in my foundation brush into, that was one pump. Let's see how far I can go on, on one pump. That's a pretty color for me. There is a slight, I'm talking very slight smell, but so I'm just going around my face and buffing one side of it, which is what a lot of people do. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to be honest, I can't be anything else but, it gets me into trouble all the time. I do see a difference, but it's very light. It's, it's very light. I think if that's what you're looking for, a light foundation that's, you know, liquidy, then this is for you. Get a little, I get a little blemish right here that I, that I took care of. So I'm just going to go down. I use the whole entire pump for my forehead. It's it's very pretty. Um, I don't know how I feel about it yet. I don't have a primer on. I usually don't go over my eyes. I use an eye primer. Let me see. Okay, so it did cover up a little bit of my blemish. I like the luminosity to it. And it, it's not sticky. Which I also... Okay. Now that I have this on, I'm liking it more and more. Because I only did one side. I have a, an age spot right here, and I do have a few right here. But you can see the difference. See, this is with, without, and this is with. I have the same amount of... I have age spots on both sides of my face. Mostly this side because this is the side that hits the window in my car. Um, and I've been driving uh, for many years back and forth to work. All right, let's put some on the other side. I still have a little bit left on my hand. I'll use that up. I think it's very pretty, but I was hoping there would be more coverage to it. So it really is for a younger, a younger woman. But if you are an older woman and you don't, you want your skin to look like skin, but better, then this is not a bad choice. The other thing that I do sometimes is I will put my foundation on relatively thick. So I'm not doing two applications or, you know, two coats, <laughs> two applications. I'm doing just one. And I let it sit a little bit. I just let it sit. 
I think it's a pretty good match for my skin. What do you think? I think it's a great match for my skin. Hmm. That is very pretty. I don't have a primer on. You can still, you can see my wrinkles, but you know what? <laughs> I have wrinkles, so you're going to see them. I like, I like how illuminating it is. I really do. I like the radiance. All right. Maybe I can, maybe I should put on a little bit more makeup. Let me, let me put on my eye primer. I can find how to open it. I'll put my eye primer on. I didn't bring any eyeshadows up here. So maybe I'll just use my new bronzer. Because I'm not going anywhere. I'm just running to... I have to run to Dollar General because I have some toiletries I need to pick up. And I have to stop at and get some gas. So, all right, I have a little tiny, we call them cherry moles. Um, I watched a whole dermatology video on these. They can be in, you know, they, they do tend to follow, um, genealogy. Okay, so that looks good. If you are looking for a nice primer, I've been using this for a year, Nicole Cosmetics. I can't tell you what the price is on it, but look at this. I've been using this for a year. You can see there's a little bit of a divot, a little tiny bit of a divot in the middle. Um, but you don't need a lot, and it really covers your whole eyelid. Okay, I, like I said, I've been using the Tinty Dole. This is hard to get out. I think if they made their doe foot smaller, it would be a plus. But I really, really love this. Um, under eye concealer. The other thing is I've been playing with the Beauty Pie color corrector. This works really good, really, really good. But playing with it, I've been using it every day for about a week, The last one of the last two videos I did or whatever. I can't rub it in right away. I have to let it sit. Very similar to letting my concealer sit. If I don't let it sit, it will crease drastically. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just letting this sit. And I'm just going to dab. If you guys can see. I go along the trough line. And whatever I have left, I bring up underneath. I just want you to know that I used to do a lot of this stuff with my fingers. Um, I just love having my fingers in, in paint and in uh, makeup. But I learned a lot of these techniques by watching you young girls and 40-year-olds and 50-year-olds and above put on makeup and some of this stuff I already did just just because it, it just can't kind of came natural to me um, and some of the stuff I learned from you guys and I am really grateful because I just think makeup is so gosh darn fun and I like to have nice skin. So, 
that's that. I'm going to go in with my Rare Beauty. This is my um, other concealer brush. But I like to use the powder underneath my eyes to set my concealer. And you know what? Well, I guess I will open up the bronzer so we can see it and the blush. And maybe I'll put a little bit of that on my eyes and curl my eyelashes. Let's open up the NARS bronzer. It's so pretty. It's it's really, really pretty. I, I think this is a really good choice for me. So I just love their packaging with their uh, separator. And it's just, I love the matte uh, compact case and I love the copper. There you go. That's the color. So I'm going to put on some bronzer. Now I haven't used this yet, so <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how it goes on. Can you see it? I'm going to do the other side. Really pretty. Really pretty. It's very warm. Let me put some up here. But that's okay because I'll just go and blend that all in after. Let me feel the... Ooh, the foundation feels really good, ladies. Really good. The foundation feels really nice. I don't know if it's because I powdered it, but it feels really nice. I've got to wash my brushes this weekend. Okay, and let, I'm going to leave that aside because I might put that on as eyeshadow. This is the blush that I got. I got Orgasm X because... I thought that this looked close to the to the blush that I absolutely loved that my daughter had bought me that I talked about in the last video. But isn't that so pretty? But you know what? A lot of you probably already know this. Like I said, I should have named my channel A Day Late and A Dollar Short, but whatever. I'm still showing up, right? So you guys still show up doesn't mean anything oh, oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh that is so pretty it's doing the same thing that that blush that she bought me did for me all those years that I absolutely love it, it was a full-size palette it had a highlighter in it and it had another a, a matte blush but I I tend to gravitate toward the sheen I just had to tap my brush, push my brush in it, and that was it. And that's all I did with this. Oh my gosh. Hey, I'm I'm really liking this foundation. I'll put a little bit of bronzer on for eyeshadow, because I didn't bring anything else up here. I'll put a little bit of bronzer on. Curl my eyelashes. I'm using the Laguna. This is the neatest, okay, this is not a high-end blending brush. I paid 99 cents for it. It's a wet and wild. It's very soft. I just love the fact that there's a divot right here. So when you hold this brush, your thumb goes in there and and the and the swirling it's it's almost like it's natural 
just going to bring it right up under my eyebrow. I don't even, I don't even know if I'm going to put on. Because in just a few hours, you guys, I'll be taking all of this off. So pretty. I'm going to use the eyelash curler. Okay, one of them is still in the packaging and one of them is not. This is the one I used this morning. Okay, I'm going to use this eyelash curler, which I am thrilled, completely thrilled to get. It is so comfortable. I'm looking at the aerodynamics of this eyelash curler. And I and and what it is is see how the eyelash curler is slanted, but the the insert that goes up against your eyelashes is straight. So nothing pinches your eyelid. You can get very close with this eyelash curler. Um, it is made for Asian women or Asian. So you just be sure to get all of your eyelashes in the eyelash curler. And I'm going to put on a eye primer. I have a meatloaf in the oven and I, I didn't, I didn't bring my watch up here. Oh. I am so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited about this. I'm excited about the makeup. I'm excited about my eyelash curler. Oh, I feel like a teenager again. I used to curl my eyelashes all the time. The mascara over this and see, and then I'll get up close. Okay, can you tell? That's one coat. So what are you guys doing this weekend? Anything special? Do you like the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation if you've tried it? Okay, can you tell? This is a second coat. I can tell. Now, what I'm worried about is that they're not going to stay curled. That seems to be the problem. that they're not going to stay curled. Okay. And that's it, my friends. When I go downstairs, I'll use some setting spray. All right, you know what's happening? My eyelashes are curled, but they're not... But... They're not as curled as I'd like them to be. So I think I'm going to really have to be picky about how I use the eyelash curler. Like I'm going to have to really hold it there. Or either that, it's the mascara that I'm using that's too weighty for my eyes. I don't know. I really don't know. Okay, I'm going to blend all this in. Oh, you know what? I'll put a little bit of bronzer into here. So I will keep you updated on the Nivea. I think I'll be throwing this away. And let's pull a card. So far, so good. I really love the way this foundation looks on my skin. Really do. 
really, really do. Okay, I'm using a deck. It was my very first Oracle card deck that I purchased. Little story. I was getting messages. Okay, I, I, they're, they were like downloads. You know, I, I was be thinking about something and then I'd get this message. And so one day I got a message and I heard in my head, I heard it in my head or in my heart or however you want to say it. No, I'm not crazy. The name Serena. Now back in those days, you could look up angels on the internet but they didn't they weren't a whole lot of names. They were the typical ones like Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Uriel. So I decided at the time we had the office upstairs in the in the uh, master bedroom and I had it sectioned off. And so I was up there doing some work and I decided I'm going to type in on the computer Angel Serena and a, a pencil drawing came up with a description of her. The pencil drawing was really well done, but it was the only thing. There, was, there were no other links, just that. And I read about it. Well, back after my first husband passed away, I went to visit somebody and they took me on a, a healing guided imagery tour. And I met in, in, in the guided hypnotic state a woman sitting on a bench. And when I asked her what her name was, she said Serena. But I had completely forgotten about it. And that particular day, her, that name came to my mind, so I decided I was going to Google it. And sure enough, the description of the pencil sketch of Serena was exactly what I saw for the description of the woman sitting on the bench. And I read about that angel. When I got these cards, the very first card on the top, was Serena. And that's how synchronicity works, my friends. Just allow it to happen. Allow it to happen. And don't, don't worry, because God does not want us to be floundering. Just like good parents don't want to see their children floundering. Okay? So, have some faith and some trust that you are where you're supposed to be right now and everything is happening for you and working out for you. And out flipped a card. And this is perfect. Athena, Let me take this down because it's getting in the way. Athena, it is safe for you to be powerful. You know how to be powerful in a loving way that benefits others as well as yourself. Allow yourself to be powerful and loving at the same time. So that is a message for all of us. For this weekend, particularly me, because I'm having a little bit of a hard time with that. Uh, let me see what the book says. I haven't used these cards for a long, long time. You've been afraid of your own power. You have, you have worried, been worried that others would disapprove of you or leave you if you allowed your true power to shine. I don't care about that anymore, but there was a time where I would go into complete anxiety panic mode thinking about that. But whatever, whatever. You want to stay? Stay. You want to leave? Leave. 
whatever. I'm okay with it. I know I'm going to be okay. I just know I'll be okay. You have also been concerned that you might abuse your power and that your masculine energy would become unbalanced. I am here to help you reveal your power to yourself and others in a way that enhances your relationships, your self-esteem, and your life purpose because your power comes from love. And love comes from God. You who are made in the image and likeness of your creator have unlimited power within you right now. You aren't capable of abusing your power because God is guiding you. And God has sent his angels down, his or her angels down to be with you. Lest you kick your foot against a stone and stumble. They will be there to pick you up. And I can tell you that is true. Even in the worst of times. Your heart chakra has opened like a flower to bloom. Let it. Such power is beautiful. It also amplifies your spiritual healing and psychic gifts. You are a strong and powerful light worker. And God has got your back. Okay, my friends. I love you all. It was fun doing makeup with you. Please like, subscribe, click the notification bell, and let me know if you have tried the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. It's been out since, what, last February, I think? Um, but I, I've i been using other foundations, and this was on sale. That's why I decided to get it. So... I try not to pay pay full price for anything if I don't have to. I'm on a budget, as we all are right now, right? So, be well, be blessed, be beautiful, and know that you are loved. Until next time, bye-bye.